guys, it's Jamie here. Welcome to day eight of our Start Journaling event. I hope you're enjoying it so far. We're now going into our second week. The question today is quite a big question, so I'm going to keep the page pretty simple so that you have the space to answer the question. What I've decided to do is take some of the remaining farm paper because it all matches nicely and fold it in half and as you can see I cut that out because I was going to make a pocket and then I thought actually we need as much space as possible and I may need an additional tag and pocket anyway therefore what I'm going to do is I have one of the sunflowers already cut out and backed on card I'm not sure what I was going to use it for but I thought I can now cover that up. That gives us a way to lift that and get to the pocket underneath. I'll probably edge a few things first with the vintage photo. And I'll go round the page inside and out. I don't think we'll glue this into the page initially because it might be easier to write on it off page and then glue it in later. Also found this piece of paper that was already torn and stained and I might trim that to fit just to give the inside an extra something. That's a bit drier, we'll trim that up to fit and stain the top and the bottom. Meanwhile, I wanted to put this half on, half off. This is now basically complete, but before we attach it, I'm also going to measure it so that we can make a journaling card that will fit behind it. That will sit slightly out over the page and therefore when you turn the page over you will see white here. When we write we're going to back it with spare thin paper here, that's why that's not been used. I could decorate the front of this with some leftovers. I actually have more sunflowers, goes with the theme. Now we need, we can either go central and do something in the middle. So that would make a very simple but effective journaling card. Now, when that goes into a pocket, it will stick out, which is fine. But then on that side, even though you'll see something, it would be nice to put a border down. You could put a similar border, use a tear ruler want to leave plenty of journaling space so what I will probably do is stick it down initially and then trim it up again. Finishing touch will be to add some rounded corners to this. should sit something along the lines of that but before we do any of that we need to do the question. Today's question is in several parts and I've answered each part rather than write down a big bulky question and then try to answer it. What is something you've been really wanting to do but haven't done yet? Mostly travel in Asia, beach to beach e.g. Bali, Goa, Vietnam, even Zanzibar which I know isn't Asia. What is the story you've been telling yourself about it? That I'll be lonely as backpackers tend to be in their 20s and won't want to hang out with me. And also my work while online needs lots of materials and I can't do that work while traveling. How does the narrative serve you? It doesn't. It stops me from actually trying it. Is the narrative true? I don't know, I believe it to be true but it might not be. I certainly feel more comfortable if my eldest daughter could come with me or a friend. How do you know? So in other words, how do you know whether the narrative's true or not? I don't know. I did join a few people in a hosp hostel in Bulgaria for a few days a couple of years ago, but 
I had to make the effort and felt awkward, like I was forcing myself on people. Last one. What might an alternative story be, one that's more empowering? That people went backpacking mixed with people of all ages that wouldn't feel awkward or out of place. I could rent out properties, so would replace any income loss from giving up a business. You only live once and are a long time dead. It's only fear that stops me from trying it. I could do it, work until the year I turn 60 and then take a year off and see through the final bucket list of places to go because I have travelled a lot anyway. And the final point to that one is maybe somebody would join me. I realise that's a lot of questions there so that's why I posted this set on a Sunday hoping that you would have time to tackle them. Now I filled in my answer I'm going to stick this down to create a pocket which means gluing along that edge, that edge and that edge. What I will do is just squeeze that a little bit towards each other so that you have that gap which will make getting a journaling card in and out easier. When that's dry, I can put the journaling card in. If you wanted to, you could decorate this more highly, but I think with having a, a variety of pages, it's not always necessary. The idea behind this was to decorate our own journals and make them practical for answering these questions. I hope you have enjoyed today's challenging I think, prompts, and I will catch up with you next time. Bye!